Hi guys, excuse my appearance. I am not looking a 10 out of 10 today. In fact, I'm looking about a two out of 10. But we've just been to Aldi and I thought I would do a grocery haul as I've not done one for ages. Um, and I thought, why the hell not? It's quite a big one. Um, this is all vegetarian. Um, I don't think we've got any meat on this shop, which is always good. Um, those of you that don't know, I'm vegetarian. My husband, Andrew, eats meat. Um, but I do most of the cooking, so he doesn't eat tons of meat, to be honest. Um, so this is our food shop. I would like to say I do Slimming World. I do do Slimming World. I'd say like it's a bit 50-50 at the moment. 50% of the time I'm doing Slimming World, 50% of the time I am off the rails. So this is kind of a mixture. There's loads of veg, but also loads of not so Slimming World friendly things as well. Um, so I'll just show you what we picked up from Aldi. Um, there's a new one that's open, quite local to us and it was really good and yeah I'll show you what we got stop rumbling and dive straight into the haul right so if I start up here with like the fruit and veg we've got a big bag of spinach so I'm going to do some spinach and ricotta cannelloni this week we've got some tender stem broccoli which is my absolute fave at the moment as I mentioned in pretty much every video to do with food and um, we've got some garlic some baby club tomatoes which are very much upside down um is anyone else obsessed with these tomatoes that are like different colours? I just feel like looking different colours just makes them taste more exciting. It probably doesn't, but it works for me. Some normal white potatoes, two aubergine, as I am loving aubergine at the moment. Um, some miniature potatoes as well. Some avocados. Um, we've started weaning our six month old. Um, if you watch my channel normally, you will know. But we've started weaning our six month old. And the one thing I was really excited for him to like was avocado um, because I'll have half and then the other half goes to waste or then I end up having the full avocado and on Slimming World that's like seven million sins. So I was really excited to be able to share my avocado with Wilf. But so far that's the one thing he doesn't like. So I'm going to keep persisting. He will like avocado. Um, so I've got a two pack of avocados, two types of mushrooms to do like a stroganoff type thing. Um, a cucumber, some peppers, use peppers in absolutely everything. We've got some carrots, Wilf is absolutely loving carrot and we use them in loads of recipes anyway. We've got some sweet potatoes, again, mainly for Wilf. Fun fact, I don't really like sweet potatoes, um, I do not get the hype at all, but Wilf seems to like them. We've got some bananas and then we've got like some Wilfy stuff, we've got a big pack of their nappies and a big massive box of their wipes. We um, normally use Pampers, nappies and Huggies wipes but we got some of these the other week to try and um, just a small pack and actually we totally loved them. So we are complete Mamiya nappy and wipe converts. We've got some of these organic just bananas. Obviously we've got proper bananas too but they're just really handy to have in especially if we're on the go going somewhere. And then I've got a few like snacky bits for Will to try. I've got some of these Organics Banana Biscuits. These are seven months plus and he's about six and a half months. So we're nearly there. Um, some of these Carrot Puff Snacks, two packs of those. Some apple rice cakes and some raspberry rice cakes. Um, I think that's everything for Wilf. Got a whole host of cheese as always. Got, oh, eggs. Oh, look at these eggs. How did I miss them? Oh, and nappy sacks. This is all over the place, nappy sacks. But then we got these eggs, which I was just too excited about because they're blue. I mean, hello, what kind of blue chicken laid them? I'm excited for them. Um, and then all the cheeses. This is my favorite cheddar ever. It is the specially selected extra mature West Country crunchy cheddar. This is amazing. This is one I use for like nice sandwiches or to have with crackers. And then we just have like a normal block of extra mature that we use for like cooking or cheese on toast or whatever. Um, some garlic and herb, reduced fat soft cheese, some mozzarella, ricotta, so we can do spinach and ricotta cannelloni. Um, I think that's it for cheese. We've then got some cashew nuts. Um, I love those in curries. We've got some lasagna sheets because we'd run out. Andrew got some brioche burger buns. I'm not sure why, as I'm pretty sure we don't have any burgers in, but he got them anyway. Um, this cereal was my guilty pleasure when I was pregnant with Wilf. This was like all I would eat in the last trimester. Um, and I haven't had it since, so I thought, bit of nostalgia. Have, oh, <laughs> bloody hell. Bit of nostalgia, I'd have some crunchy nut, what are they called? Honey nut clusters. 
Um, two jars of um, basil and oregano passata or oregano if you're American. Two tins of reduced fat coconut milk. I make quite a lot of like curries and I love having coconut in even though I know it's really not good for you. Um, some whole nut peanut butter as I ran out. I got these little tikka masala paste pots. Um, two pestos, I got a red pesto and a green pesto. They're just really handy to have in the cupboards. Um, I got some frozen butternut squash chunks because I hate cutting up butternut squash. It is such a pain, but Wilf seems to really like it, so that'll be good for his purees. Um, I got two of these just for quick lunches for if I'm on my own with Wilf and he's being a bit of a diva. I got the Mediterranean quinoa and the curried lentils. Back up here, we've got some um, fabric conditioner for our clothes. We don't use that on Wilf's. We've got some all-purpose wipes because I hate cleaning and these are really handy. Got some fancy chunky oven chips. British homegrown Maris Piper. They look really good. They're mainly for Andrew. Um, he loves having like pizza and chips and like naughty food when he's been on the lake because he gets out really, really late from work. Some frozen broccoli. Um, I love frozen broccoli, fun fact. Some sponges because we'd run out. Andrew's popcorn. Andrew's chocolate bars. I know I sound like one of them women that's in denial, like, oh, they're not mine, they're not mine. But actually they're not mine. Like that is not my idea of a fun snack. I would never pick popcorn and I would never pick Mars bars. Like give me cheese and biscuits, crisps, dark salted chocolate. That's much more my bag. So they are genuinely Andrew's. Um, as is the 30% less fat salad cream as is the, a lot of this, in fact all of this, <laughs> um, Red Thunder energy drinks, so bad for you, but he has them. Um, some beer, two types of Coke, they're both Andrews as well, um, and some semi-skimmed milk. And that is everything. Um, and I think altogether that came to about £70, which I didn't think was too bad because we got quite a lot there. Um, and I think if we'd done that in like, Tesco or Asda or any of the other supermarkets, we'd probably be looking at close to 100. So I was pretty pleased with that. Um, I'm gonna leave it there. Keep tuned next week as I am uploading a vegetarian meal ideas video. So I'm sure you will see some of these ingredients in use. Um, yeah, and I'll leave it there. See you in my next video. Bye guys.